So this week I got a text message from one of my fellow English majors, which struck a nerve. It has made writers want to strangle their peer editors for as long as the profession of fiction writing has existed. How do you help someone edit their story without taking their story and making it yours? Where do you draw the line when it comes to suggested alterations? Okay, peoples. Listen up and listen closely, because I'm about to tell you the only four main duties of the peer editor. 1. Notice if any phrases are poorly worded or hard to follow. If there's anything stylistically concerning, mention it. This is where you can make changes as an editor. Fixing poor grammar or rephrasing a bad sentence without changing its meaning is fine. I mean, we writers might unfix it later just because we can, but Making these changes is a perfectly acceptable peer editing task. 2. Point out spots in the story you liked and say why you liked them. Do this early, refer back to it often. We writers can take criticism and we need it to improve our craft, but it's easier to swallow if we believe that you really do like us. If you genuinely didn't like anything, be kind. Lie. Or dig really deep. And when you're shredding our work later so badly that we look like we're about to cry, or, or jump off a bridge, or go join a failed artist colony out in the mountain somewhere, remind us that you really like the title, or the ending, or just the fact that it ended. <sighs> Number three. Point out spots in the story you hated and say why. Be as clear as possible as to what's rubbing you the wrong way, and let us writers decide whether or not we care. Trying to rewrite a scene because you don't like how it played out is crossing the line. Say you don't like it, say why, but for crying out loud, don't say what should happen instead. And finally, number four, find plot holes. Find them. Don't fill them. That's it. That is your job as a peer editor. Now. A writer might ask you to look for something specific, like if you'd like to see more of a certain character, or if some names are too hard to pronounce, or whatever. They might want to bounce ideas off of you. Here is the very well-defined line in the sand between editing and taking over their story. Answer their questions honestly. Give your opinion on their ideas. And then stop talking!